Hey everyone, it's me, Lasercorn. Sorry, I've been away for a minute. And today, I thought it might be fun to react to a video over on the Ogsog channel with Joven, Sohinki, and Mari, where they just did a whole video on why they hate me while I was gone in Ohio with my wife and family for vacation. I don't know, seems like something like terrible friends would do, like just bad people. Um, but yeah, let's, let's watch and find out. The first topic we wanted to talk about was things that we hate about Lasercorn, damn it. This guy, he's been in our lives for years and years, and we got a few gripes with him. Time and, to air uh, some grievances. Yeah. While he's not here to defend himself. This yeah. is a great episode, guys. <laughs> yeah, a great point from Mari there. Uh, they're doing all this while I'm not here to defend myself or say anything. Fortunately, you know, because it's the internet, I can just make a whole video where if I want to rebuttal or say anything about like how they're cowards for doing it while I'm gone, I can just say that in my own video. So th that's good. And we're really good friends. <laughs> yeah. And they're, they're cowards, but did I say they're cowards? Cowards. Okay. Good. Okay. And continue. Uh, up first, since he came up with this idea, I'm blaming it on you, you know, because Lasercorn takes down notes. Uh, Jovenshire, go ahead. Uh, your thing that what? you hate about. Why Lasercorn. would I? He just. Okay. All right. I do that. On to grievances in such an unhealthy way. And it's. <laughs> It's not says the guy airing his grievances out on a podcast without the man he's talking about. OK, go on, though. No. So, yeah, Jovan's saying I hang on to my grievances and then I seek revenge, which is true. Uh, but let's talk about how Jovan deals with his grievances. See, he doesn't confront you directly. What he'll do is he'll talk shit about you in a text thread or here, make a whole video about things he doesn't like about you, which is, in my opinion, kind of big middle schooler energy. And yeah, I just think my way is better than his of dealing with grievances, and I'm a better person than him in general. Joven even sometimes admits he's like, I was just talking shit about you on another text thread, which is weirdly honest, but still big middle schooler energy. There's been times where him, Brina, myself, and Kate have kind of like, I wouldn't call them double dates, but we've like sat down to play board games together. And we do, that's true. At least on two occasions in the last last five years, because they don't happen often, because it, it it doesn't, like, Kate would never say no, but it stays in the back of her memory, and she starts to feel bad for it, too. So the first time the four of us sat down to play a board game, um, uh, Kate, like, stomped him by, like, doing this play that, like, ruined him in a oh, game. Oh, I really it, hope that, uh, that the reason we don't play board games more is because Kate doesn't like playing with me. That would be terrible. Yeah, Kate, if you're watching this, uh, the reason I bring it up so often is actually because I'm really impressed by it. It was, like, a really good play. So, it's, it's not that I'm angry about it. I love playing board games with you. Uh, I just, I, I think you're very good at them, unlike your husband. Um, well, for those watching the video version, um, we're going to flash an image of it right here because I can send that to Paco. Wow, no image flashing on screen. Um, that, that's just lazy. Wow, really lazy from Joven. He obviously didn't send the image, so we couldn't flash it on screen. Kate pulled this move that was like top tier and like destroyed all of Lasercorn's army right before he was about to win. And then Kate went on to win the game. Yeah, so it was actually it was brilliant like not only did she destroy my entire army but she destroyed my army right at the height of my army she just timed it so perfectly that it wiped out my entire army right as like i had my army was so big i was gonna take over the entire board but anyway flash forward like a year and a half two years uh we're playing fireball island laser corner by the way the fireball island uh game that we played was not the original it was a remake and it's a little bit flimsy and the pieces get knocked over a little too easily for my liking. The original and even the new one, if you can set aside that the pieces are a little flimsy. Great game. A phenomenal board game. I was about to escape the island uh, with like mm -hmm. the big jewel in hand. And like Kate gets one Wait, is more. Is Fireball Island a tabletop game? Uh, I think it's called Fireball. We should 100% play Fireball Island on the channel, by the way. But I, it I sounds like a drinking I game. never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we could totally turn that into a drinking game with like shots of terrible eggnog or something. If it's not, it should be. <laughs> it should be. Joe and Ball Island. It's, yes. it's a very fun bar board game that like was old and it was re-released and there's like marbles that like uh, slide around this map and like knock you over. Anyways, Kate, on the way to the um, uh, the the helicopter to escape uh, and collect her treasure winds up again tactfully attacking laser corn stealing his job tactfully is not the right word there. And jewel and then I mean, escaping tactically, not tactically <laughs> there we go because it wasn't a polite thing to do 
Correct. Well, it was not a polite thing to do. Um, and then just like... That's another thing about Joven. He doesn't use words right. Won the game again and stole it from Lasercorn at the last minute. And like, he brings it up every single time he gets a chance. Like, he both of those. He does not forget. He, he but, doesn't. But he, but he also does forget when it comes to Mario Party. Because Everything he will keep trying. Else. He will keep trying. This is the time. I do have a pretty terrible memory. It's not that I forget about Mario Party. And what happened last time? It's just that one day I think I'll actually win Mario Party. I'm still holding on to that hope. One day, one day I'll win. And that'll be different. And so, yeah, no matter what it is. And so if you are playing a video game with him and you're like, you know, you get a kill on him or something or, or you uh, you get a friendly kill in GTA. It's not for the video that he gets revenge. He has to inside of his soul. He can't drop it. Well, that's just not true. I don't have a soul. He is extremely forgetful about most things, but he never uh, forgets about vengeance. And <laughs> True. So he's, it's like if you like wronged him at all, elephant. an elephant who never forgets to kill. If you wronged him at all in the past and it hasn't come back to you yet, like it's like this constant thing of like I know he remembers and he has. He's, he's got a yet. checklist and he checks it every single night. And ha if he has like not memento. crossed it off yet, <laughs> he's Arya it's Stark. He's it's Arya coming. Stark. He just yes. repeats through his list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good so that's one of my biggest grievances with laser corn uh would i tell this to his face yeah after like two whiskeys for sure yeah i don't even think he admits it after two whiskeys i think he's just too much of a what's the word i'm looking oh coward yeah i think he's just too much of a coward so i don't you guys might remember a series that we did on smosh games for a brief period of time called cage match challenge and <laughs> speaking uh, of being spiteful I consider myself to be like it's one of my like highest uh you know skills I guess in terms of like you know things I pride myself on is being good at video games but I'll say about this and it's a grievance I had with him at the time because it really screwed me Lasercorn has an uncanny ability to just pick up on new games very quickly it made him really good in Game Bang I think he might have even been the winningest person in Game Bang Uh that's not true Pretty sure so Hinky is the winningest person. I might have been the winningest person in cage match, uh, but but not game bang. Or I heard to. gang. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was an N the first time M. you said it. I said game bang. <laughs> it the always winningest sounds gang like banger. the wrong thing whenever I hear it. <laughs> He's the best game banger in town. Very would, experienced in game bangs. Gang he bangs? Would, <laughs> game with an M, dang it. Uh, he would always... Like, I, I think that I probably won 25% of our cage matches against each other. It was always annoying. But the one that I remember the most is uh, the whole reason he has his orange hair. Because he was trying to get out of jury duty. Oh, yeah. So he was like, I want to show up to jury duty with orange hair so they think I'm crazy. Oh, that's right. I really just kind of wanted orange hair. Jury duty was like a, uh, it was just kind of an excuse. Yeah, I'm like, hey, maybe if I show up with orange hair, they'll they'll let me off. They didn't. They didn't care that I had orange hair. Eight. I and forgot what? that was lined yes. up with this. So he was like, so let's just do a cage match. Let's set the stakes that the person that loses dyes their hair, and you'll beat me, and then I'll go dye my hair orange so I can go to jury duty with orange hair. Wait, <laughs> that's so diabolical, because if the court was like, oh, you only did this for court and, you're, and, and then he could There's be like, evidence. no, watch the video. It's <laughs> yeah. because I lost and that's why I have orange hair. <gasps> yeah, again, kids, if uh, if you think colored hair is gonna get you out of jury duty, uh, it, it doesn't, they don't, they, they literally do not care. <gasps> but if you watch that video, there's clearly a point in the video where he's kind of not trying that hard and it's because he was beating me naturally and then he had to try to lose <laughs> because he that is true, I did throw that. So the way I kind of stayed ahead of Sohinki in cage match is we went back and forth on picking games. One player got to pick, then another player got to pick. But I think there was some rule about you couldn't pick a game that you had played or if if it was your turn to pick a game and you were picking a game that you had played before, both players had to agree to it. So that was kind of the rule. And I always pick games outside of his genre and uh and got him to agree to those and that's kind of how i stayed one step ahead of him on cage match but yeah um it, it was a lot of meta gaming for me to make that work and to keep my lead in cage match
It was just like so naturally good at this random game we had both never played that I was just like. So yeah. is this I'm why I'm sending this to the to the government? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. I'm government. I'm sending it to the president. Everything that I've just said is a fictional uh, retelling, and uh, it was the the video is real. That's what. You is, is this why? Is yeah. this why you were so uh, try hard in the beginning of SG because you kind of had to be? Uh, to keep up with laser coin because you had so much experience with him. I just would yeah I think part of it was that because like I really didn't want to be once the punishments became actual punishments I really didn't want to do them I also took myself a lot more seriously at the time so anything stupid like you got to wear a dress I was like no I don't want to wear a dress I also did I wasn't beginning of the dress wearing uh, still not it's not really my style I can't really pull it off that's stupid. And I would try really hard to stay out of the punishment. And yet, you, you still ended up in a dress. I eventually, yeah, well, I ended up in a dress many times. Yeah, we all ended up in a dress at one point. I do remember, oh, I think there was a dress punishment for Deadliest Warrior. That was one of my favorite games. And it, oh, so Higgy was so mad because I kept beating him with, what was I? I think I was like a Spartan and I just yelled 300 lines at people and I was winning all the time. That was a great video. This is Sparta! And I think, well, since they made a whole video about how they hate me and so Hinky uh, mentioned that he didn't like being in dresses, let's roll a clip of that right now. Yeah, look at sexy boy. Yeah. Yeah. I like how Mari wears the dress of shame, but it actually like, it actually looks good on yeah. What the hell? Oh my god! Next level. Oh my god. Sorry, sorry guys. Get down on the ground, you little pacifist. Oh, He's ready. <laughs> See, that's how it's done, guys. When I say there's going to be a clip or a picture of something, that actually appears. You like how that works? That's great, right? Times. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, it, and it has helped me in my life to take myself less seriously, so thank you, Smosh. <laughs> You're welcome. My I'm helping you right now by showing you an address. Is that I can never tell if he's for or against me. <laughs> <laughs> I've known this man for a day. I mean, it varies. What's the situation here, for or against? I'm not blanket for anyone. There are times when I'm against uh, everyone. Decade, and I still feel like I do not know him. It's kind of like being best friends with a shark. You see, <laughs> you look into shark. those eyes, and you're like, okay, I'm getting a cold, dark stare back. And I'm like, we're friends, right? We're good? We're good? And then at any <laughs> So if I could give a little insight on this, I I think that Mari's distrust of me stems from uh, the first time I killed her in Minecraft. I honest, I think I might have caused some slight trauma there. Um, I traveled a vast distance to her house that she had built, where she felt safe, and ambushed her. And when she screamed, because I was hiding behind the door, I think something broke in her. And I think that's where her constant distrust of me comes from. But really, Mari, that's a you problem. I feel like this is something you should work out in therapy or something. Surprise attack! Ah! <laughs> yeah! ah! That's not really a me problem. I, he's gonna bite my head off. I don't know how or when, but he's gonna do it. And um, yeah, it's it's like when, when, when was the last time you got like an angry stare where you had to wonder, we could. Well, okay, so I see this stare every time we play a video game. Every time I play a video game, the stare is just there. And it's just the the, the face of a shark. Like his um, old instincts kick in? Yes. And so I'm like, when, whenever, you know, it, whether it's... Oh, come on. When am I... I'm, when I, we're playing a video game together, I'm looking at the video game. I'm looking at the game. I'm not staring into your soul that you know about. It's sea fine. Of thieves or GTA, it doesn't matter. I'm like, are we on the same team? Cool, we're yeah. on the same team. Cool, we're on the same team. And at any given point, he's gonna turn on me. I okay, know and you never it. know if it's like for the video or because like, did I did I scorn you outside of here? Did I do something You'll that you need to work know. through? Like, You'll if there's one know. person in this group, if there's two people in this group. We should all have therapy. We should all get therapy, but him just as much as the rest of us should go to therapy and will never. Man. That's true. I'm not really a, a therapy guy. Here, here's my take on therapy. I'm I'm pro therapy. Like if if it works for you, absolutely. But I don't like I don't really like that everyone should be in therapy movement. Um, not everyone wants to do that, and it's like it'll make you so much happier and stuff. 
I, that's the same energy to me as the, and I'll never be one of these people. Everyone should have kids, people. Sure, it's a time commitment, and it's going to cost some money, but you'll be so much happier after. It's like, look, everyone's different. Not everyone is a child person. Not everyone's a therapy person. I just think, you know, I just think to each his own, however you deal with things. I think what we should do is fight club. We should do sock and bop or fight club and work through our issues that way. I think it would be very healthy. And you get some physical exercise in there. Sock and bop or fight therapy. Therapy would be great for an episode. Oh my <laughs> God. No, sock and bop or fight therapy. Can we do this? <laughs> Us going? Do we know a therapist that's like does like like a like you know a person that like has a YouTube that is a therapist? Or oh something my like god, that? that'd be kind of great. Okay, I feel like this is really funny. I think we should do it. Boo! It then just turns into an intervention for laser corn. <laughs> but we don't know. We think if anyone's getting an intervention. It's going to be Joven. This is a man that used to keep what he called work whiskey at, and I'm sure he still has it at his desk in his little home office, but when we were at Smosh Games, he had a bottle of whiskey hidden behind one of his monitors that he would pull out and randomly swig from when <laughs> he died for the millionth time in GTA or anything. Ah! Oh, up in your face, Joven! No! How's that Again? Before? You mother <laughs> Why did I spin around? <laughs> Why are you spinning the around? <laughs> Although, in fairness, I am, I, when he pulled the whiskey out, I would always ask for some. And I, yeah, I sometimes keep whiskey in, in my office, too. I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a close second for candidates for an intervention. Probably. Yeah. We think it's going to be an intervention for laser corn, but then, in, like, the therapist turns it around, and it's like, how do you guys drive laser corn to do this? That's like, hilarious. Like, I <laughs> yes, I think the therapist would side with me. <laughs> don't except for like this time, but that's but also I also still don't want to go to like therapy. Fine. It's like, but why is it from that? I'm like, oh, so this ends with us three crying and him smugly standing there, like I told you, you guys suck. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it turns into a therapist situation into a what we thought would be a intervention into a hostage situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're friends with the psychopath. I think uh, I think Mari's grievance leads perfectly into our next topic uh, that I wanted to talk about. Uh, if there's one thing that you think of when you think of laser corn, uh, and especially when it comes to Smosh games, the word betrayal is definitely close <laughs> behind. Uh, that was kind of his thing. Yeah. That's fair. I do. Uh, I did betray people a lot. I've eased off on the betrayals. In fact, when we were playing, what was it, Grounded? I, I got betrayed. I was ready to work together as a team and try and figure out this weird Honey, I Shrunk the Kids mystery. And so Inky betrayed me. Roll that clip. Ux. Wait, wait, did you? Why did you kill me? I just Because I'm, I'm just beating people to death. I don't know. I just, it was. God, my videos are just so much better when I make a video than when they make a video. You see how the clips get rolled when they're supposed to? Just so much better than them. It's weird video game we played yeah we eventually, eventually called it a wild betrays. card but yeah. no he that was his that stick. Was our coping mechanism yeah yeah i was angry uh so hinky was try hard yeah. uh mari the man. was a girl yeah <laughs> mari was the man of the group that's a fact <laughs> that's true and then laser wow sexism joven just said that mari's defining characteristic is that she's a girl just saying i feel a little sexism vibe coming from from this person in the video right here the one like was gonna betray you like, yeah. And it, it's always from like a, you can kind of see it in some of our videos with any of us. Like when you don't, when we don't know what to do in that precise moment, that so few one. almost stood out. Well, we didn't, or, we didn't set it up, but this is going to be, yeah, our, the, the greatest laser corn betrayals. So go ahead. Okay. I've, I've got one that happened outside of games. Ooh, it's, it's like my uh, greatest hits here. Okay. Games. Um, this is Ooh. something that would happen all the time with laser corn he is one of the most aloof people that i know but also sometimes the most focused it's very very hit or miss <laughs> <laughs> he switches it on that's for he, sure he definitely does and i think this was a um nonchalant betrayal he didn't try to do it but it cut deep so every single week when we worked at defy the president um of the whole company um which <laughs> 
laser court is talked about um he used to come in on fridays like at the end of the work day and just be like hey guys just uh popping in just seeing how we're doing and we're always playing video games we're probably yeah. pr if we were not recording we were still playing video games and we'd be like hey how's it going keith and then just kind of like look yeah, especially like you're misunderstanding the definition of betrayal and also yeah f that guy but also <laughs> let, we're not going to get into that again uh, that's, that's the subject of the one drama video I've ever made. Oh, I guess this is two now. <laughs> um, but that's not a betrayal. And also he never formally introduced himself to me. So yeah. What was I supposed to do? Look up everyone who's in charge of the company. Friday at 4 p.m. Lasercorn yeah. go over his house to like set up an Xbox for his yes. kid or something like that. No, that didn't happen. Uh, that was Barry, another person. I never went to Heath's house. Like yes, he, he, this, this person, this president would walk around. These guys can't even get their story straight. That wasn't what happened. On the office all the time, we would like see him all the time. He pops in every Friday, and one time, Lasercorn goes, "Who is that guy?" <laughs> totally, like totally sincere, and I don't know what. That to me hurts more than anything. Just not being remembered after uh -huh. so many weeks, months. Oh, that's years. good. So not even a betrayal on you, a betrayal on someone else. What yes. a lovely pick. Well, because that's hilarious. if it can happen to that guy who's the president of, you know, it's not even a betrayal. You don't understand the meaning of the word. To betray, there first must be some type of trust between the two. Me and that guy never interacted. That, it's not a, you don't understand what betrayal is. Um, I'm like, oh man. You know, our friend Joe Beretta, for months, for months being in the same office, one room adjacent, being at hangouts with us, going to a- It was like a month before I figured out that Joe Beretta worked with us. Events with us. Yeah, oh, Joe's gonna take care of it. Who? Joe Beretta. <laughs> Who's Joe well, Beretta? You know, you know. Uh, that is one I'm actually kind of ashamed of. It took me too long to figure out who Joe Beretta is. I'm not good with faces and names, uh, but I'm a huge fan of Joe Beretta now. And like when when I when I learned who he was and started watching Barats and Beretta, like that was part of like my research into like, okay, I gotta find out who this guy is. Man, they have some hilarious stuff. The Mantage, uh, one of my all-time favorite sketch videos. Uh, hilarious guy. I uh, it's a shame. I for the first month we worked together. I didn't I didn't know who he was Here's Joe respecting a woman like my mama taught me. Oh, what's funny. Dude. You know, it's funny um, Laser corn is definitely going to be the first of us to go senile, you know, but like like probably true Reading the notebook in the notebook brings uh, her back, you know, <laughs> like remembering old vengeances will be the thing that brings him back. Yes! Which is why I jot yes, it down. Yeah. Keith Richmond and he'll be like, Boo, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. You know, I that did. son of a bitch. I do realize, though, and, and like I realized this when I was traveling around with Lasercorn and Brina, I think that he is aloof to like 90 percent of life because the, the all of his. um. All, all of his attention goes to his family. Like mm -hmm. he's very focused on his family and nothing else. And I'm like, you know what? I respect that. I consider myself family focused. Yeah, I definitely like my family better than I like anyone else. <laughs> he is a family man. Family he is. Uh, you know, I, I, apparently <laughs> I didn't know this, uh, but I saw Brina not too long ago uh, for, for a little B-Day party and she was saying, because I told her about the trying to kiss him on the forehead thing. It was like, he won't let me kiss him on the forehead. I've told you if you defeat me in a boxing match by KO or TKO, we can we can do that. But that will never happen. I will literally train. If, if you agree to a date on the boxing match, I will literally train starting from the date you agree every day until the boxing match with the only intention being to to, uh, to physically destroy you. Like there's no, I, I just don't see you beating me in that. It's like, yeah, he keeps talking about that. He also will go around and he said multiple times, like, Jovan keeps trying to say I'm his best friend, or, uh, yeah, I'm his best friend, but it's like, he, he's not. And Brina will say, oh, it's because it's me. I'm your wife. It's like, no, Tyler's my best friend. And I'm <laughs> like, that is layered in betrayal. Me and Tyler have a secret best friend's handshake. Uh, he is my wingman in Fortnite. He's he's way better than Jovan in Fortnite. Um, yeah, so we're, we're kind of besties. 
Joven and me are best friends outside of my family, and I guess... I guess technically me and Joven are best friends, and Tyler is my son, and we have a, a best friends type vibe going. I don't know if you could technically be best friends with your son, uh, but yeah. So uh, yeah, I guess me and Joven are besties. I still wanna, I still wanna bash his face in in a boxing match. I think it would be great. Irrelevant creator clash. Hey, <laughs> me, come on, just call it what it is. Call it what it is. Just say. I did. Yeah, I guess family doesn't count. So yes. Just say what I am to you. But also betrayal to the wife. But also, <laughs> he's got two sons. <laughs> <laughs> That's and hilarious. the thing is, he'll never think of it that deep. Uh, wrong! I actually did think of that that deep. I wanted to be best friends with Tyler and Amir, um, but I asked Amir if he would be best friends with me, and he said no. No is one of his favorite words. Uh, he loves telling me no, and he laughs every time he tells me no when I tell him to do something. He's just like, nope, this is what it is. That's, yeah. that's, just, that's just it. There's no emotion attached to it for him. It's just like, nope, that's just what it is. I'm There's sure, no layers. <laughs> I'm sure that... Um... Uh, there, there is emotion attached to it. I... May not feel emotion in 99% of cases, but I actually, you know, I love my sons and my family, so there's some emotion there. <laughs> Mir and also Brina share the best friend spot as well. <laughs> yes. Uh, like, he, he just and, has and like Jovan's a go-to. still going to make it about himself. Yeah. 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 Just Absolutely. like, give me, give me something. Give me something. Give me, a, give me a kiss on the forehead. I won't kiss him on the forehead. He can kiss me. No, I admitted we're, we're besties. You can you can box me for anything else. Me on the forehead. How about that? My oh, by the way, if I beat Joven in boxing, which I will, um, I we get to wax his chest. Uh, we're gonna do another waxing video. Uh, hopefully this time with less spiders. One. <laughs> Joven's corn betrayal uh, is one that always stuck out in my memory. Um, Lazcorn was always known for doing the betrayals in Minecraft. That was like always how the Minecraft story was going to end. You know, it started with Laser Cornea and blowing up Mari's house. But the one betrayal that I remember the most is the one that crashed the entire server <laughs> because he had the like TNT. Yeah, it was like a custom what? mod that he had installed into the game where we were like going through this mission, but he had set. That is, this is a great episode of Mario Craft. Probably one of the best episodes of Mario Craft, other than the one where I first kill Mario. Set it up without us knowing that a giant nuke was going to blow up the whole level. Oh. Yeah, and it was like he set a nuke to go off, and he had like pre-produced this without us knowing because we were <laughs> going through. I remember we had to climb up some tall building. We had all these missions to do. For some reason, I remember there was a ramen shop. Somewhere. It's because it was, it was like Tokyo. Oh, like that's yeah. the worst part about it. We're like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, dude. that's rough, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was set in like a Minecraft oh. Japan sort of thing. I nuked to. I don't. Oh, this is a. Uh, I I thought they were talking about the episode where I first dropped a nuke, which was just in our server. But yeah, I think I made another one when we were on the Tokyo City level. Oops. What's happening? Uh, oh, something something bad has happened. Oh, oh my god. Is this like, the we one where Godzilla Japan. showed up? I yes. think so. Yes. I think so. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't yeah, remember Godzilla showing up in any of those videos. He used to be able to do these things in Minecraft because he would spend hours yeah. in the office he would after not go we would home. go home. Yeah. That is true, and thank you for pointing that out, Mari. I am a much harder worker than the rest of you, and I work much harder on the videos in the channel than everyone else. I just want to throw that out there during this video about how much you hate me. Also from Minecraft, though, uh, because, again, it's where he did some of his best work. The problem is, I don't know if I remember the betrayal. All I know is that the betrayal near the end, I think it was like even when we came back to Minecraft with bows, and it's what led to the um, uh, the court case of Lasercorn in-game, oh. and then led to Smosh and Order, one of our favorite shows. Mm. Uh, I So I would say that the betrayal that happened in that story arc was one of the best because it led to Smosh and Order. I believe it was Damien that I killed. Hi, buddy. No. Wait, come here. Guys, we can solve this me. mystery together. Ah! But <laughs> hilariously, uh, I was chasing him and he fell off a cliff and died from the fall. So I didn't technically kill him. But uh, yeah, I think that's what he's talking about. Mari, do you remember? 
No, I don't remember this. Was it? Oh, who has the bad memory now? I remember that off the top of my head. I hope I'm right, so I'll have to go back and look at the footage, but I remember that off the top of my head. These guys don't even remember. Not the, just his initial betrayal of Mari, like blowing up her house. I thought no, that no, was no, 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 no. Which time? Yeah, like there was the original of like Minecraft for like the whole laser cornea and then like those betrayals. This, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep on talking to see if I can vent enough time to see. No, <laughs> that was I, like, cut. Vent enough time is the wrong word there. Uh, burn enough time would have been acceptable. We did the law and order joke in Marycraft, apparently. We did it before that place. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That's the episode that led to. I love that. I want. I, man, if nothing is cut, this is. So, great. an episode of Marycraft led to the first smosh in order. We, we kind of were just kind of improving around in. Mari Craft, and we came up with this whole like, I'm like, hey, whoa, if you're accusing me of killing Damien, I want to actually be able to defend myself. And it turned into a whole little court case in Minecraft. And then Bose had the idea. She's like, what if we did a court case in real life? And it turned into Smosh and Order, which I think is one of the best series ever to appear on Smosh Games. And yeah, so credit to Bose for making that happen. So I think just uh, maybe Laser Gorn just murdered people. <laughs> I don't know what came before this. You know what's hilarious ah! about Minecraft? It's too hard to find. His betrayal like in big. Minecraft always looks so dumb. When someone suddenly starts attacking you, it's just a hand going like this. <laughs> <laughs> that betrayal led to Smosh and Order, which I think is uh, really good. Yeah. Mm. Well, there you go. But uh, so shout out and thank you. To so my betrayals uh, kind of kind of led to one of the coolest things on the channel. Interesting. Thank you so much for watching this. We hate late. All right, blah, blah, blah. This is just the wrap up uh, here at the end. Uh, yeah, overall, I give the video a three. Uh, <laughs> it's doing well in views, but uh, I give it a, a personal laser corn score of a three. But I do look forward to the videos we will do about the things we hate about the rest of these three, because I got some things. I got some things I want to say about them. I touched on it a little bit here. But I've got more. I've got a lot more. I think there's definitely enough content for a video on each one of these people. Honestly, I could do a whole video myself on each one of these people about things I hate about them. But uh, but hopefully we do it in this format over on the Ogsog channel. Uh, where we all just kind of round table, uh, you know, diss someone. Because I think, it, yeah, it's a great format. Very fun. All right, that's it. Uh, there's there's videos that are better than Ogsog videos over here on the Lasercorn channel. And there's, uh, you, if you want to see Ogsog, I guess it's over there. But my videos are better because I'm the best member of the group. All right, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see, oh, and hit the subscribe button and everything. See you all next time. Bye.